In one of my recent videos, I've shown off how to do vertical movement. There are two things that I touched upon, but not fully. Control F and Control B, Control D and Control U to move either half a screen down or up or a full screen down or up. I have issues with them, and matter of fact, I even recorded a video where I fixed those issues. But the developers of the NeoVim extension for VS Code fixed them before I could post the video. The especially IE. <coughs> sure, that's a word. Uh, we'll know how to find that video if you read the description. But I still have issues with these hotkeys, so I changed them a bit. So first of all, let's see how they usually work in NeoVim without any configuration. So currently, my cursor is at the top of my screen. I'm going to show, uh, press Control D. As I press Control D, I go half a screen down, and my cursor stays in the same place. Uh, and when I do Control U, that is still true. Now, if I set my cursor to the middle of the screen, it will also stay in the middle of the screen. That makes sense, but I don't like it. Usually when I scroll, I want my cursor to be in the middle of the screen, so I don't get lost. Okay, how do Control F and Control B work? So, let's put our cursor in the middle of the screen again. You would imagine that it would stay there. But, no, no matter where you are, let's go to the lowest point, and nope, it still goes to the top. So when I go down, it stays at the top, and when I go up, it stays at the bottom, no matter what, when you press Ctrl F and Ctrl B. That confuses me to no end for some reason, and for that reason, I usually just do Ctrl D and Ctrl U, and don't use Ctrl F and Ctrl B often because that's confusing. Okay, let's go and see how this works in VS Code. So the new Vim extension for VS Code. When we do Control D, it actually moves the screen rather than moving the cursor. So probably because of the restrictions of Vim and NeoVim, your cursor has to be in the screen. So when you scroll, it drags your cursor across. Uh, VS Code doesn't have this restriction, so it can just move the screen. But when we use Control F and Control B, uh, that does technically still happen. When we try to go up and down from the same point, my cursor stays at the same place. But once I go and scroll uh, more, it stays at the top or bottom, which is once again not what I want. I want my cursor to be in the middle of the screen. So first of all, uh, let me show my solution for NeoVim specifically. So now I press Ctrl U and I stay in the middle, even if my cursor is initially not in the middle. This makes more sense for me to keep track of. And the same thing for Control F. So let's go to the top again, Control F, and my cursor is in the middle. Great. And also the fact that I'm not using Control D, Control B, and so on in the remapping, I instead just jump up or down some specific number of lines. Thanks to that, my jumps are consistent. So say I'm somewhere like here and I want to go to inactive win bar. I could do 15 and then J or I could do control D and 3 down because it consistently jumps 
12 down. I can know that for a fact, rather than depending on my font size or something of that nature. It's consistent, so I can use it more easily, I guess. And in VS Code, uh, you can actually scroll without scrolling with your cursor. So here I am, 38, I want to go here. I would probably uh, do thir 38 up, or more precisely, do capital M to jump here and then jump lower, but for the sake of discussion, uh, maybe I need to go here. I could do Control F and jump there, but that will only happen when I actually fix the way VS Code works. So let me pause and come back with the solution. All right, so I wrote this as a test and I reloaded VS Code. Let's try using it. And that's not what actually happens. Why? First of all, something that I mentioned before in one of my videos is that using NeoVim or other ne NeoVim extension, for you to use any control characters, by that I mean control plus a character or a key, you need to actually pass them explicitly. And you can see all of the things that get passed like this. Um, otherwise it's not going to work. So for stuff that's not used like by default in the extension you have to manually provide them. And there's a video coming showing off what that brings to the table that wasn't available before. So when we look at the top we can see that there are special things for scrolling stuff because the new Vim extension uh, does scrolling using VS Code. So right now I will uh, move these, uh, these two and these two to actually pass into, um, into NeoVim for it to be processed. I am pretty sure this is not going to work. I'll try to explain why. So, first of all, um, I guess we delete them. Uh, I will save this so I don't permanently lose it. Okay. And now I can delete it. After we do that, we go to the JSON format of key bindings because it's easier to work with essentially. And we try to find uh, a hotkey with the correct when condition. So let's check this and try to find something that we can use. Okay. So what we're searching for is this when thing. When editor text focus and NeoVim control keys normal and NeoVim init and NeoVim mode isn't insert. Great. I am pretty sure that's all that we need. So let's copy this, uh, paste it, and now let's do the magic. Uh, we do control D but the actual command should be different. So let's actually find something that's easier to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 that's much better. So we were missing args before, which is the key component that you need. So let's once again copy this, paste it, and this will be D and then D. Mm. Yeah, and we do the same thing for everything after. Now we do U, and then we will do B. Cool. So now we can actually send those 
uh, when we press Control D, Control F, Control U, and Control B, not in insert mode, as you would expect, uh, these hotkeys will do this in theory. So let's reload VS Code and try them out. See this? What's weird is that it doesn't necessarily get centered on the uh, on the screen. As we scroll, it ends up being in the middle of the screen, but it's not there immediately, which is pretty weird. Well, that does. Uh, when you when you use Control F and Control B, but if you use Control U and Control D, that just doesn't happen at all, and what we want doesn't actually happen. This once again happens because scrolling is actually done by VS Code. So I have this setting called let's search for it uh, surround I think lines. Yeah, cursor surrounding lines. I set it to four, meaning currently we have four lines here, and when I go up, it starts scrolling. Because there are, well, once I reach four lines to the top or bottom, VS Code starts scrolling. That is not the default behavior. So I actually recommend this, uh, setting it to whatever you want seems nice but it really depends on what you need so the reason why it didn't go immediately to the bottom and then even centered is because of this setting I'm pretty sure uh, and control U and control D don't do anything because once again they just reach the bottom or the top and then they just scroll However, we get the desired result of, okay, I need to go 12 up, specifically 12, I just press Ctrl U, boom, I'm there. So that is a pretty good solution, but what if we also wanted to actually move the screen with VS Code? So do the uh, 12 down or whatever else, do some command, and then scroll to there as well. Actually, there is a way to do it. As you can see by my config, we have the option to call VS Code commands, and I've made a video on that specific topic. Uh, remember how Control D and Control U, that's now lost somewhere, but it's here, supposedly. Yeah, Control D and Control U don't move the cursor, they move the screen. And if the screen moves uh, to the point of not seeing the cursor, the cursor also moves. So we could potentially just call these commands um, to move our screen and do st things like that. And another video that I recorded will help out in this endeavor. Because essentially what we want to do <clears throat> is do this command and then move our screen. So with this, if it keys correctly, I show them off and explain them uh, in the video that, in the, all the videos that I keep mentioning, by the way, you saw the infos on the top right and they all are also in the description. So, uh, let me look for an example. I might not actually have one, but essentially we call the command of type these characters and uh, then we move our screen with a VS Code command and that's essentially it. However, I didn't expect this I didn't expect to like this solution even though 
it doesn't necessarily leave my cursor in the middle. I actually like this, I think. It makes sense. Let's me move very specifically. Um, and still leaves me some leeway in seeing stuff that I'm scrolling to. That wasn't the case before. So for now, I'll leave it at that. But maybe I'll hate it soon enough and you'll see the solution in my config. If you don't, then you don't. And if you enjoyed this video, press a like, type some comment, maybe you have a question or a suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content. But most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!